Kiva Lu became a part of one of the biggest stories in Boston history on Marathon Monday. Kiva was filming a documentary following runner Rebecca Roach through her training for the Boston Marathon. The BU grad student staked out a spot with Rebecca's boyfriend and family just outside Marathon Sports on Boylston Street to capture her subject crossing the finish line. Her decision to follow Rebecca's boyfriend as he reunited with her after the marathon may have saved her life. I hesitated whether I should follow him or not because it was, it was so crowded, I may lost him. And I know they're going to they're come back to the store, I can interview them. But finally, I decided to, to run after, like follow him. When I just left where I stayed, the, the bomb just happened behind me. I saw the smoke, I smell, I even smelled it. And I didn't know what happened until the people were like, behind me, uh, yell at me, what are you looking at, what are you waiting for, you have to run. And I, people around me are so scary, there are some tears in their eyes. And I, I know that there, there must be something wrong. And I, so I moved with them, they pushed me forward until I arrived the empty space near the coffee station. Just how close was Kiva to the actual explosion? These two flags at the bomb site are seen over Kiva's right shoulder in this photo taken on race day morning. She's just feet from where the bomb went off. The bomb is just, I mean, we're three scores down from where it happened. Yes. This is where you were when it went off. Yes. It's about there. How, when I ran here. How lucky do you feel that you moved down the street a little? Of course, very lucky, and I even because the, the bomb was happened just where I stayed, you know. And I feel like if I don't make the decision to to run away and to stick on the the, the runner I'm filming, I must be died. So I feel like probably the insisted of catching the best footage of me, like the the face of me, helped me, saved me. Because kept you alive. Kept my life. Yes. Like any good journalist, Kiva wanted to capture the moment. Here's some of the footage she shot in the immediate aftermath of the explosions. And all of a sudden, there was a big huge boom, smoke came flying out, and another boom. And everybody started running. And that was exactly what happened. I feel a little weary since I was in New York in 9-11. And it's just a shame uh, that we can't even enjoy sporting events without having to worry about being harmed. Kiva took to Facebook to assure friends and family that she was okay. She left behind in the blast area her purse and a backpack with a laptop computer. She would live for more than a week without them. This image shows a blue camera bag among the destruction. That is Kiva's. Adding to her distress of living without her belongings, Kiva found out that an earthquake back home in China had struck an area where her parents lived. Thankfully, they were not injured. Life has begun to move on down on Boylston Street. Residents and tourists visit the memorials to remember the victims. Kiva returned to reflect. How do you feel like your role that day with, with the camera and documenting this attack? What, how does that make you feel as a journalist? As a journalist, I was I was so confused when I did everything like after that day. Until I really finished the news package, I feel like it's your responsibility to record everything happened and to present to people who don't know about that. We have to be, be stronger to live with this, but it's still something take time. Kiva's work proves that the role of the journalist is invaluable in breaking news stories. She comes from far away in China, but like everybody else who was in Boston on that Monday, she is Boston strong. Kiva plans to cover the marathon next year. On Boylston Street, Mike Neff for the Boston University News Service.